Hi, and welcome to the Total Recall Show. I'm Tom Scholey, author of Jack Kirby, The Epic Life of the King of Comics. I am Stan, a graphic biography of the legendary Stan Lee, and Jack Kirby's Star Warriors, The Adventures of Adam Star and the Solar Legion. I'm also the author of Witchman, a new superhero comic book, which recently had a successful Kickstarter campaign. So I just picked this up, the Micronauts Battle Cruiser, which is featured in the Micronauts comic book uh, in some of the early issues uh, you know, it's a, this is like a bad guy spaceship in the comic. Um, you know, a bunch of like acroyers are flying in it, chasing after the Micronauts team. And then also in the Bug two-parter, after Michael Golden's run, Bug and his freedom fighters steal one of these and, and go on a big Death Star run dog fight to uh, defeat the last of Baron Karza's dog soldiers. Such a cool toy, so I, I decided to to pick one up. This one was was actually a pretty good price, you know, with the box. Some of the stickers haven't even been applied yet. And, you know, the whole thing sort of fits together into, you know, one giant vehicle, uh, but then you can take it apart in its component parts and, you know, reconfigure them into, you know, new original creations. You get these great, uh, rubber darts and uh, these these were in the comic also this it's kind of funny seeing this kind of you know child safety stuff uh, show up like in a comic book the the power of the firing on this stuff is, is pretty great so yeah it seems like all the pieces are here I haven't tested out the mechanism yet um, it, it takes two C batteries, and I don't know, I mean, it, it looks like it hasn't gotten a ton of use, you know, since uh, 1977. So I don't, I don't know what sort of, what happened with this, but it did have two batteries in there, which had like corroded to nothing. There was just, there was kind of like dust, sprinkling of dust everywhere that was like, you know, from the corrosion, and then I just, you know, dumped the batteries in the garbage. They were brittle and dust. I didn't really want to touch any of it, and then I cleaned this out. So, uh, you know, I'll give it a try at some point to see if the mechanisms work. I don't have much hope for something, you know, something this old. One mechanism that does work, it's this uh, chair. And so you can take a guy, stick him in the chair. Let's see. And then... There he goes, he goes right into the, the cockpit. So lots of cool gimmicks. Just one of many cool gimmicks with this. Yeah, some pieces haven't even been removed from the packaging. So yeah, somebody had this and then just sort of barely played with it and then it made it uh, all the way here from 1977 and um, comes with the instructions. giving you all kinds of indications of different ways you can play with this. And the pieces are, are interchangeable with the other, the other Micronauts. There's um, one of these little Micronauts catalogs, which I love. I love this kind of stuff. These things here, fire missiles. A couple more pieces. Yeah, it's these like little parts that, you know, when when you you buy a Micronaut, usually don't have like all these like little connector pieces that that can come in handy if you're trying to make an original creation. But yeah, I want to get some of these stickers on here. It's kind of fun being able to apply the stickers. I mean, part of the part of the appeal of this stuff is. Um, it just kind of gives me an excuse to go back to 1977. To, to you know, you, you start messing around with these kind of things, and, and, and it just feels like it's 1977 all of a sudden. You know, it really is. It's like a time machine. It's here. So it looks like there's some kind of one of these lightning bolts goes on the side of this. And then there's these tail fin stripes on these. And it's amazing if these stickers have any adhesiveness to them.
Yeah, so this you know, can be part of the spaceship, but then it can also break off and be just a little uh, gun. You can play like a version of Little Armies, uh, but with Micronauts. stickers on there. just like an aesthetic to this stuff. It's like 70s sci-fi aesthetic. This, this, um, I've seen this piece before, and this is part of Baron Karza, except it's in red. Ejects. But yeah, just really nice design. Each part of this is like kind of its own cool little object. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And then even this 
um, control can uh, become its own vehicle and can combine with the different parts. It's not just utilitarian. Yeah, these things launch missiles as well. So yeah, pretty nice little vehicle. Something that I never had when I was a kid. I didn't even know it existed. Micronauts were something, you know, the older kids would talk about and, you know, sometimes I'd see little glimpses of them, but but yeah, it wasn't until I got older and started reading the old Micronauts comics and, and then, you know, started kind of like getting into it. Right around the time, not, not too long before I started working on the Transformers versus G.I. Joe comic, Perfect. And then uh, we'll find a place for this guy. And yeah, there's there's uh, you know room for there's room for everybody in it. I'm Tom Scholey, author of Jack Kirby: The Epic Life of the King of Comics. I am Stan, a graphic biography of the legendary Stan Lee, and Jack Kirby's Star Warriors: The Adventures of Adam Star and the Solar Legion. I'm also the author of Witchman, a new superhero comic book which recently had a successful Kickstarter campaign. See you next time for the Total Recall Show.